one is uh, quite a serious one, but it's also it's it's it's, like, it's a sticky one because you know, rap man, big up rap man every single time. He's been doing his uh, you know his his year wrap ups and all of that stuff from from years ago, from from time ago, and um, he's kind of broke through now with the blue story. Uh, if you know the story, that it's um, Jigger that's behind Blue Story. Jigger, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jigger is the one that um, not not behind it, but he basically bankrolled the whole thing. Jay Z, Jay Z, Jay Z, Jay Z, Jay Z, Jay Z basically, yeah, Jay Z put Nation. money Nation. into okay, that. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, anyway, Blue Story um, has been in cinemas um, for the past couple of weeks. On it's on one of its first days of it being out, um, we had in Birmingham. There was a bit of a you know a crazy situation with some kids storming into uh, one of the view cinemas and with you know machetes and fighting and all of them with like a mass brawl. Bit of a splashing guy. Bit, on. Yeah, <laughs> I'm oh, no, trying not to laugh about serious situations, bit of a, bit of a but yeah. So like you know some youths stormed the cinema and there was a fracas. No one got no one got killed, but like there was a fracas and you know view as a consequence. They pulled it initially from their, from all of their cinemas across the whole country. Not in Birmingham, not in that part of town, across the whole of the UK. Now, under pressure from filmmakers, uh, you know, filmmakers unions, um, you know, celebrities, different people, you know, just the general public, they reinstated the, the, the film to their cinemas because, to be fair, just because one incident happens at one cinema to do with this film, um, that's not really a reason to close the film down. Now, I've got, like, so much to say on this subject, you know, pros and cons in terms of this whole thing. Yeah, a couple of months ago, we sat here and we talked about Top Boy. Um, but I feel we need to speak on, you know, not just, the, not just that situation, but also the kind of hypocrisy, the kind of hypocrisy of um, view, like, being running scared and basically pulling this movie straight away from cinemas without a moment's thought when films like Joker have been out and the whole conversation that's been going on around that and also, you know, a guy in Colorado during a screening of uh, The Dark Knight Rises, yeah, yeah shot, shot the up the cinema up. and nobody banned Batman. I'm still on. Ba like, Batman is as popular as ever. So let's be honest with this, yeah. Um, you know, movies have violent subject matter sometimes. Sometimes they have challenging, you know, uh, content that, you know, it, it's, it touches on some really serious things in life. People with, with mental health problems like the Joker, people who are in gangs like the people in, in, in Blue Story. Now, I haven't even seen the movie, but I do know that um, from, you know, the synopsis and just from everything that's been going on around the movie, I do know that there are positive elements to the movie. I have more to say on that, but I want to bring in some people to bring in some of, some of the other guards to, 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 to talk about what they think about this situation. Bad Company. Um, mixed opinions. Really, because I, let me ask you a question because I don't know too much about it. So, is it one isolated incident or did it happen um, at like separate so venues or one, one isolated incident before ah, they okay. pulled it? I'm not sure. It might have been like another incident since. No, Nothing no. really serious, but there was that one incident and they pulled it straight away. Because no, like, without a moment's thought, hesitation, nothing, just pulled it. Yeah, because I've been hearing a lot of stuff online, so I guess it's all fake and it's all rumors because. Um, I'm hearing that it's been happening at different venues up and down the country. And there's been there's been there's been, there's been incidents like where there have been like fights and stuff, but people, like there's been, you know at, at cinema fight. I've been at a cinema and fights have broken out at like yeah no of course of course of course of course, of course, so, of course of course you know what I mean like to to kind of attribute the fact that a fight broke out in a cinema because of this picture like this picture is something that's causing people to go on more aggy than any other movie in the history of any movie like ever like it's yeah. just ridiculous well if it's just a, if it's just a one off then yeah I think that they were a bit harsh in in pulling it obviously given yeah the whole Batman Dark Knight craziness that, that the gunman and all that I do think it was um, I also heard something about um, Frozen 2 like there was they they that something happened at a screening of Frozen the, 2 no, in Birmingham. Basically, what it was, it was at the same cinema. So, basically, 
people ran into the screen that was showing Frozen 2 right, and right. started fighting in there. Right, 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 okay. So okay. basically what it what what the narrative was was that the fight had happened because of Blue Story. Not just that yeah, 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 these yeah. bunch of men were just fighting in the cinema. Mm. So we don't know. We don't know whether they could have just been having a fight randomly because they don't like each other and they see each other on road, but they're watching that movie because fights broke out in the foyer, in the Frozen 2 screen and in the other screen. So like fights were just kicking off all over the, all yeah, over the yeah, cinema. Yeah. So, but because that, that film was being played, that was shown, that was being shown as Scapegoat. to be the, yeah, to be the reason why yeah, the, yeah, these yeah. guys I just wanted to get, thing. I just wanted to get it straight because there's so many rumours going around online. Oh, so many, so many. Um, but yeah, I mean, like obviously, it, it's it's you know you can't condone it. No. But um, at the same time, yeah, I think it was a bit extreme. They shouldn't do that. Like you know, like it's it's art. You know, like you can't you know you can't it's blame the art. movie itself. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like if it's about kids and gangs and stuff like that, then you know you're gonna get kids and gangs going to see it. Mm. Yeah, I'm not saying that. Oh, expect some violence and shit yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. But again, man, I don't know. Like it's yeah. It's mixed opinions, man. I can't condone it, but at the same time, I'm saying, like, if it's a one-off incident, then, yeah, they're definitely too extreme. They shouldn't have banned it. 100% shouldn't mm. have banned it, yeah. Picks the far right, Ravendell. Uh, well, boy, the whole thing's a fraud, isn't it, yeah? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> Obviously, what had happened is somebody seen and heard, somebody else, somebody seen, somebody gone in the cinema, caught up. But boys have come and had a fight. Boys have already had this intention to roll with one machete. Not like they were saying multiple machetes, black youths, with multiple machetes. It was Asian youths, yeah. Um, I believe Indian descent, yeah. Of I don't I don't know, any, but of, of, by my look. The, that's how it looked, and that's what the picture come out because the picture didn't come out at first. It was talk, it was yeah, banned. Yeah, 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 There's no yeah. pictures saying, "Oh, there was a hundred, hundreds of people was brawling." The there was phone, nine arrests. The phone footage starts. Nine arrests, bro. Mm. Yeah. One machete. Just like, and you see the picture, it. like. So when they've done that, that's come out. But not at first. They've, their whole thing was the media. They spoke about oh, it. No, that's yes, what I'm exa and Exactly, and no, that's what's happened. That. Mm. And they loved that. They loved that, and that's what they done straight away and used it mm. as they would do like. When So Solid perform and do anything like that or shut down gigs or anything now, any of our artists or that does stuff, they shut you down. They say, all right, cool, right, you're promoting. The, the, actually, the film does not promote violence. It's showing you the reality of how some people just get into shit and don't want to and don't live that life. Mm. It's not promoting nothing because it's a real story. Like, it's showing you the reality is that we're stuck in a place where you actually just get into things because of the life we live and where we live and what we're about, isn't it? Like... It's a message more than anything, can it? Like to be real, the whole idea is like I, I I could just say straight that I just think that they're not they're just trying to shut down somebody that would get a, a lot of power and a lot of recognition very quick independently mm -hmm. and blow up quick. Hearing yeah, because... hearing 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 you say that now, obviously like no, I agree. I definitely agree. Like, I'm like saying, why would you definitely. why would like like you're saying one fight's happened, yeah? Mm. The man's brought in, they're running to different cinemas. So they're not running in the cinema to go and fight because it's that. They're not going wearing masks and carrying shanks because of the film or carrying a sword because man in the film are carrying swords. Mm. Like, like you said, like Zora said earlier, yeah? In the, the film with the Joker that come out, out of the fears of what had happened from the, the last film and mm, people, the pre-screening of Joker, there was police at every cinema in America, innit? Mm. Yeah? Okay. And they were scared that people was going to kill each other and start doing madness or someone's going to do it. Because people are going there just as Joker. Mm. So people are scared that somebody's going to do the same thing again. So police was at the cinema. The film never got pulled. People was making reports that the film some of the scariest things they've seen because it's so close to like not dealing with mental health issues that literally could... If you didn't deal with your mental health issues, you that would... Could happen. That could happen. Yeah, could it's a reality that... Again. And they believe that... A lot of people are saying that it was promoting mass shooting. So basically somebody that was a bit scatty and saying, fuck it, I'm going for gold... That's the kind of thing that would happen, anyway. And because it's filmed Blue Story, anarchy as well. Another thing, we get shut down everything we do, even if it's a message. Yeah, the reality of it is, is that I don't give a flying fuck who doesn't like 
this life of we gonna call us local urban now. But reality is, is that's not a message to random people that don't live that life. That posh film that you make isn't made for these little ghetto young heads that don't understand that life. That's made for your people, innit? So when these films are made, they're made for us, innit? And then when we make moves, they try to shut that shit down, yeah? And there's films that, there's a film that is out at the moment called Knives Out. It's promoted on the side of buses. Picture of about eight white people. I, do, I, I ain't even looked at the thing because I might be wrong. There might be shades of colour in there. There's, yeah, the Keith Stanfield in there. I'm like, sorry if I'm wrong in the picture, but in the picture I just saw and I just saw Knives Out. And I was like, hold on, for bro, hold on. Yes. Why are they... The film's called Knives Out. You are stabbing each other on our, on our roads right yes. now and dying right now, yes. bruv. 10-year-olds, 13-year-olds, no joke. Man, man, I don't think the film's about man, getting stabbed. But it doesn't matter, though. <laughs> it's not about that, bruv. Nah, the promotion, you. before you even saw Blue Movie, you're banning a movie mm. because of a couple of people that went to a movie. Mm. When the title of another movie is saying Knives Out, Mm. And reality is that that should not be promoted on our streets of London right now, knowing that knives are out. Well, look at look at Sterling when he had the, the, yeah. Sterling when he had the, the the machine gun on the side of his leg, mm. and yeah, it was yeah, made yeah, it was yeah. turned into a negative Some thing yeah. when he was. But it was like a positive message Arnold's that he used Arnold will be on the for side of the thing holding up his big strally in the air and don't mm. mind. They yeah, don't exactly. care. Yeah, Call, of Duty posters. Call of Duty posters. Duty posters all over the place. The guns comes on YouTube when you're watching children's stuff on YouTube. So this is the reality, isn't it? They want. Uh, a blame behind everything and you want to call you want to be able to say yeah I can blame it on that and that's what they're doing isn't it like Blue Movie at the end of the day instead of promoting it and saying you know actually maybe it's the young people that are messed up not the movie let's not ban the movie let's screen who comes into the movie yeah, and their circumstances let's make it do you know what I'm saying yeah, let's put yeah. in smaller movie mm. cinemas and have private get something mm-hmm. no I'm going to ban the thing for what for what a, a culture difference do we oh, think yeah. it's yeah. another attack on black art then Yes. Yeah. Bruv, I, I, like, I can say to you, bruv, like, yes. like, uh, bruv, like, I'm, uh, like, and this is the thing. I say, yeah, Out and the, the thing is, like, I have to say that it's, it's a knowledge of what was descri- how it was described in the media was black youths running around with loads of machetes and rare, 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 nine arrests at 100 people. Like, stop spreading your shitty stories and doing your fake shit when you've got man on the bridge doing bandulu and them thing there, yeah? <laughs> Low it, man's throwing away coke, he's a murderer. <laughs> the, man, the, man's, the, man's, the, man's, the man's a murderer on release. He's a murderer on release, picking up the knife and dashing his coke secretly that's away, that's fam. That's and then you're, you're not even going to... Sh- Low, man, innit? Like, at the end of the day, bruv, I'm mixed race. I, I see both sides of the thing and I don't ever try to put no one-sided view of that. It could be ignorant. But when I see ignorant actions I have to say logically it looks and it is blatantly that when you're going to label it something straight away and then tell me oh it's young black youth and then ban the movie don't even big up the youth for even being doing something better mm. and trying to make better at this thing and even making them a role model so that these youths stop doing that and try and do something like that yeah. I've got your bed, well, this goes whatever. this goes on to what I was going to say because mandem mandem have pretty much covered what I was going to say you no know, part last couple of months so I'm looking at it like this, the film like stirred up controversy and because of what happened and everything else, but I think it's gonna benefit the director of Blue Story now because he's in a prominent position. As we know, Jay-Z, you know, bankrolled finance that production right there, that movie Rock Nation was behind in some fashion. You know, it mirrors Top Boy with Drake being involved in it. You know, everyone looking from the outside in. And don't think that the powers that be in these industries don't see that. Like how, how much power these industries hold now. So what do you do in turn when that starts happening? You start sabotaging the movement. Mm. Sabotaging it, using scapegoats goats like kids. Mm-hmm. It was always going to draw out them youth mans to come and see the film. They was always going to come and see that. It's a reflection of their reality. Why are they not going to come cinema? Even the ones that don't even come out and stay indoors and the trap in 24-7 and all the rest, they came to that movie. But mm. it's, it's not them. They wanted to see that. Yeah. Because maybe it would inspire a few of them when they walk out of that cinema there, innit? to want to go and do that and this, this is the main thing this is what it's going to do because man then probably know the director of Blue Story P- people know him you know mm-hmm. he's a known guy mm-hmm. so they're, they're seeing this achievement now and it's, it's only going to inspire yeah. people they, 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 they want to make money people. they want to make money off of us the movement. but they don't want us to make money we like, can't make that's how I don't. see it imagine like. this yeah they, like, little things need to think like due, due to this like, if I were to think of, on a bigger picture yeah on a scale of things yeah they could just shut that down so these same people that are watching that film, 
that are the people that would be ending up voting right now would not vote because they're angry at that and would take a picture and say, you know what, I'm taking a stance to not do that, fuck the system, right? Mm. These are little things that you have to watch, you know, bruv, when they know they're at risk of people taking power and voting, bro. Yeah, I agree, yeah. I agree with that. You know what, that makes me think here, why are you coming for, why are you coming for a little movie, little movie. right now? Why are you coming for a little movie right now? Because yeah. bigger fish to fry, Because yeah? made so much noise with young people, bruv, yeah, and they yeah, don't yeah. want young people aware of the fucking world until they're, But it wasn't even that much it's until they've done it's that. It's irrational fear. It's irrational fear. No, but, but it was I'm not saying it's a little movie. I'm not saying it's a little movie in terms of like little movie. No, no, no. I know you didn't mean that. But like they don't they there's plenty of shit they can come up with. I feel like it's more it's more like an irrational fear. Some sections of society have an irrational fear of like black youth. And if you see a film with black youth running riot and just like running amok, they're just and then and then there's a fight in the cinema. It's like, oh my gosh, like these these black kids are going crazy. Like, they, do you know what I mean? It's like you, you get this idea of it's the crazy same as anarchy. in America, bro. They yeah. are just terrified so you've got, like, of black people. It's irrational fear. Like, it's yeah. like you don't apply the laws of everything else, any other movie, where it's like, oh, if there's a fight, that's an isolated incident. It's like no. That's what black kids so, are like. So, what about so that's right why, why that film is like that. So these kids are like that. So they're just gonna run amok well, in all our Let's say something I interesting. I can't go and see Frozen. That is what's <laughs> in their mind. So <laughs> this is I can't take my daughter to see Frozen because all these kids are gonna stab each other. That so is what's see, in, their, in, in people's heads. So the, me, the media pushed that though. Yeah, yeah, the, the media definitely like, pushed that, push that oh, narrative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hmm? They never said that man can't take. They used to see Frozen. No, no, no. That's what I'm not saying. The whole cinema makes sure every screen plays Frozen. Oh, come on, they come out at the same time. Like every screen's playing Frozen now. No more, no more blue movies. I, you see, you see that Knives Out film, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I swear that's a film. I've seen the trailer. I'm pretty sure it. it's, it's a. It's supposed to be good. About, it's supposed, so I, to I believe, it. from what... No. Not Frozen. <laughs> I haven't watched the trailer for that yet. It might be good. No, knives out, knives out, right? So I believe that's a detective A detective uh, who done it, oh, it's murder thriller. So it what like it is, is a romanticisation of murder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. what? When it's a little bit more gritty and a little bit closer to home and it's set in the it's UK, okay. people can't handle it. It's not okay. You know exactly. what I mean? But it's weird. Okay. But it's okay if it's, you know, Very true. if it's a bit further away, yeah. if it's in America or yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. people don't, don't mind no, it so don't much. Show no, don't show none of these people doing goodness because they want you to be bad at the minute so they can close the system down and shut all of this thing down and let everyone just be reckless. They don't want man to make money. They want to make money off of man. Mm. Yeah. yeah. They don't want That's you to it. make money. No, it's true. Yeah. That's it's how true. I see it. Because that, that film's about to open doors. If it's about to open a lot more doors like in it that, that they didn't right want now. open in yeah. it. That they didn't want open. Exactly. That's what it is, basically. Exactly. Yeah. Um, all right. I want to ask this though. All right. So, you know, we said that like people are trying to shut the movie down, but in terms of black art, urban art, anyway, do you feel like different stories need to be told? Do you, or do people feel like the same stories? Because there is an argument. There is an argument that there was a school of thought that the same stories keep getting told over and over again. Like, one of the actors in Blue Story is from Top Boy, yeah? And um, th these things came out, these, you know, Top Boy came out just before mm. Blue Story. So there's an argument that these stories have been regurgitated ever since Boys in the Hood. Mm. And, I mean, these are real stories. Obviously, you're not saying that these are stories. From, these are stories that all of us in here can relate to. We've seen these stories play out in real life many times. But is there an argument, is there a case for maybe we need to see some different sorts of stories? Yeah, we know that it happens. We know that it happens daily. But where's the variation? Like, where's, where's like, the different sorts of stories? Well, you know what I mean? It's, everything is always about gangs and drugs and man getting stabbed and man getting shot person. and rolled this and da 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 like, I know that's man's life, but that is, that's only one aspect of everyone's life. Like, do you know what I mean? I, so, I hear you. I mean, I hear you. Different, like, I, feel, I just feel like... Black art needs to be needs to get more creative sometimes. Like but, I feel but, like no. that's only one story to be but told. hundred. But if we got the support for it, mm. exactly. we'd do a lot more. No lane. What a lot of black people no are doing lane. Like no artists lane. or doing their work or but producers. Yeah, there isn't a lane. Uh, do you know what they're doing? They're just shutting their mouth and staying backstage and not putting their faces forward to show because mm. then they won't get so much work. Mm. But then, so if you watch what certain people are doing, mm. they're writers and creators behind like Ollie Oaks and stuff like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, no, that's good. But they what they're doing? Do you know how they? Do you know how they're winning by mm. shutting up and not? Putting their face out. Mm. People used to be like, oh, what? That guy that done that, that black fellow, oh, it's not really good no more because the other guy that used to do was better. Mm. Like, that is an image and what can happen in this thing. Mm. But at the same time, the promotion is if we put out 
a productive movie or a series of anything softer or closer to home. The closer to home things we have stuff is like that thing on the run with Idris Elba mm. when he's the, the African family thing, yeah? Oh, uh, yeah. Like, that's the kind of programs we, we got like Desmond's. Our shows are real, but we don't get them put on proper telly. Mm. So we're going ham on these things and like, man's got things that's taken... But that's what I mean, where's fight? Desmond's? Where's the next yeah. Desmond's, bruv? Yeah. Like, where's Desmond's? Well, then ain't nothing like that. Real McQuay, like, everything is like, was, them top was boy and stab up what, this on and... On channel four, like, <laughs> like, one in the morning. Yeah, but... Like, so now, there's room for that. But people don't want to put their money A-force. in that. Like, come on. They don't want to risk. They don't want to risk. A-force, bro. bro. It's a risk. Yeah, me. Yeah, no, nah, it's not a risk, way. though, bro. Yeah, what there's so bro, many, bro. like, there's, like... Bro, there's a risk, bro. It's a I, risk. Don't think, I don't think it is a risk. I feel like it, it, it's a similar thing, like, what happened with what happened with the music, yeah? I saw Rhapsody talking the other day um, to Charlemagne, and um, she was saying, she was talking about, like, female artists and the types of music that has become popular. And, she, you know, the, the kind of argument that's always thrown at artists like her is that that's what people want to hear mm. like that people want to hear that shit people want to hear cardi b only or, or like whatever it's like where's the balance it's like obviously like female i don't know like artists who are talking sense can make money because lauren hill did it because mm. queen latifah did it because i know i'm kind of going off the subject but i'll bring it back around to it anyway but she was kind of saying like you know these things were making money before like the little kim model took off Came like in, before yeah. that that blueprint took off and became the standard these pe- people were making money in in another way so it's just, it's just like it's the same thing with the movies like where's the balance the same thing with the shows where's the balance it's like before boys in the hood men in society whatever there was black cinema and black you know urban stories yeah it was when it was limited that's so right then, that's so right then, so that's when we only had the black people had only a select and would go out yeah now we've got a wild world of this mass yeah, media because stuff. I feel People like stuck in where they had they share Yeah, stuff and I feel like with it. you know, like some I societies, some chamber. societies are behind other societies. So I look at like we were talking about the that Conguitos thing a couple of months ago, and we were saying like Spanish black society is behind this black society, yeah. or like certain other countries in Europe where there's not as much of a black community. And I feel like the same with Britons with some things like Britain is like in terms of like you know urban uh, art, yeah, is it's catching up to America, but it's still behind in a certain way. So, you know, when John, John Singleton did Boys in the Hood, that was, like, groundbreaking stuff, yeah? yeah? And, like, if you look at American cinema and, like, you know, media now, black American media and or, like, urban black um, urban American media, you got Tyler Perry's got his own studio complex. Mm, and, mm. like, the types of things that's on TV, there's a wide variety of things you can watch. You can watch Atlanta. You can watch Snowfall. When that door you can watch the comedy just, stuff. You can watch people. like, do you know what I mean? You can watch all of the, these different sorts. Like some of the things might come on Disney. Like, do you know what I mean? It's, it's like a, a wide variety. Whereas we're still stuck in the top boy, top boy. Like, do you know what I mean? We're still stuck in that. That's like the main thing that that comes out of the UK now is trying to show that we're hood. Like, and I feel like, obviously, yeah, Desmond's was a long time ago. Yeah. But it spoke to the generation of black people in the country at that time because a lot of them were like come off Windrush and all of that it's like come over here set up a business and and like so it spoke to it it was more relatable to them whereas the youths now are more related to Blue Story and 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 Top Boy and whatever else bruv do you know what I mean but bruv we were in secondary school and Storm Damage came out. Top Boy came out how many years later? Yeah, Bullet later. Boy came in in between. Ashley was in all three of them. All of them. Do you know what I'm saying? And they were the same story. Mm, all three mm. things. So, you know, I'm not saying that. Now, I rate, like, I watched Top Boy religiously when it came out, out the newest one. And all of the series. I still want to see Blue Story. I haven't seen it. Same. But Check I do that. feel like some, sometimes there is, like, a nagging feeling in the back of the head. And I think, like, these directors and these storytellers, um, when they're writing, like... There's other stories to be told. There's other stories to be told. Like, but someone's got to tell them. Someone's got to tell them. So I, that's I'm, the narrative that's being that. pushed, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I think also, that's I also think they want to like, do. Yeah, exactly. don't, don't, that I feel like those are the only stories that get picked up as well. Like, well, yeah, but at the same time, I think you know it's not to say like, and they always say, oh, it's important, and it's always oh, oh, like you got you read the Guardian or whatever, and it's like, oh, this is like it's an important piece of art. It's like, do you like want to always be talk, man, always want to be talk, talk, telling in. these stories? Like, man, like even Ratman, if you watch the thing when he's mm. talking about it, sorry, Jenna, on the bus what? with the people, he's on the bus and mm. he goes on with some of the people that's the yeah. past. Yeah, yeah, and he's talking. He's like, look, in a couple other interviews, he's like, bro, I've had so many ideas and wanted to do it. 
Till he was making these videos on his songs and someone said to him, I bet you can't do this. He already had that idea to make a show, but when someone said to him, I bet you couldn't do that, he was like, yeah, uh, mm. cool, actually, you know what I'm going to do it. Mm. It's until you're confident enough mm. to believe that people are going to buy into your idea. As, as we're saying about the black support is not big. Black people don't buy into shit, bro. You <laughs> might stream your thing and watch it, but that ain't enough, bro. Yeah. So when you're trying to sell it to the white public or the mass of a, uh, a clientele that is bigger than... Your demographic's massive, bro. Mm. And you're trying to sell it to them. You've got to try to do something that you know most people in this place will like. Mm. Or you've got to try and, like I was saying, take a risk. Or you got to do something cheesy and comedy shows, like some, most of these stuff with that guy that used to dress like Shabba. It was that comedian who used to dress like Shabba with a leather jacket. Felix. Dexter. Like, no, 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 no they're not going to buy into man writing a real story of breaking down your life and how to fix it up and how hard it was g growing up. And then they're not going to buy into that role. Mm. Like, so people are doing that, but then they're little small edit things that end up on YouTube or... But this, yeah, that's what I mean. I feel like, I feel like there's two types of like things that make it, yeah, in terms of like media, yeah, in terms of when it's like black people are doing it. It's like, the ghetto story, the struggle, like, yeah, let's see your struggle, yeah, oh, I feel your pain, this is why he's like this, like, and then, <laughs> and then, you've got, like, the Mo Gilligan, like, Cockney Geezer mm -hmm. type, like, Lenny Henry shit, do you know what I'm saying, like, like, people like that Lenny Henry type comedy, yeah, do you know what I mean, where it's like, do you know what I mean, yeah, it's like, non-threatening yeah, black guy, Oh yeah, he's funny. He's, he's like funny. that, that Tyrone that I know next door. Like, do you know what I'm saying? That kind of comedy. <laughs> that kind of comedy. It's, com it's comfortable. Or isn't it? yeah, it's either that. It's like two extremes. It's either mm. the the Mo Gilligan model, mm. or there's the kind of the the, that, the extreme that, rap that man. Extreme yeah, extreme like rap. I don't feel like there's, there's no always anything in the middle where you can just do. I don't know. Like, man, want to see a story about a single father and his baby mother's going on nuts, man. He's trying to live and trying to work and like things like standard that. Standard stories, you know? bro. You know, like, like stuff, everyday that stories that don't have to involve real, yeah. man getting yeah, into a, a gang. There's loads of stories. There's a lot. There's, there's loads right. of stories. Like, do you know what I mean? So that's what I mean. It's like I feel like those are always the extremes that make it. It's like the ultra comfortable black guy next door and then the the yeah, gang, the madness thing. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like those are always the stories that get noticed. Like. You know, that's I, why I feel there needs to be a lane, and I hope that Blue Story now yeah. opens up the door to these cre to these creators, these directors, these producers, these mm -hmm. film companies, these does. TV people, because all they're doing is watching Netflix snatch everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. It literally, does. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. you know, our BBC and ITV, ITV star this thing the other day. If you've seen it on buses and stuff, Britbox, because they're trying to snatch back everything now. Oh, really? Like the, the programming. Yeah. All the stuff they're giving to Netflix oh. and all the other streaming companies to join it back. You know, like Disney started mm -hmm. the streaming service. Oh, they're doing oh, that yeah, yeah. and drawing it back. But how are you going to do that when you've when you got no lanes and you're not giving lanes to certain things anyway? Mm, and mm. things are getting shut down. It kind of defeats the whole object of that shit. No, so that's the way they're pushing. They need to make the lane wider, in it, yeah. for these creatives to come in. And mm. there'll be more blue stories and, exactly. and more stories about ev everything else. Right. It's a, like you said, it's a good look. It opens doors. It opens yeah, doors yeah. for other... Like, because like we were talking about when we talked about Top Boy, um, the fact that um, the director of Top Boy and the people that were on set were saying, you know... They were trying to find people that had worked on high end cinema. Do you remember, yeah. remember what we were talking about? Yeah. And we were saying people that had worked on high end television, and it was very hard to find like young black directors or young black filmmakers yeah, or young black you know videographers that had worked on high end television. A lot of them had had like little YouTube series mm -hmm. or they had, like little independent flicks that they did little short stories stuff like that. But very few of them would be oh, on yeah, a big I level. For Sky mm. or I worked for. I'd worked on this movie, I worked on James mm. Bond, I worked on, do you know what I mean? Very mm. few. And it was very hard to find them. It was like few and far between. So now, having these things, at least it's given these people behind the scenes an opportunity to be involved in, 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 yeah. in that. So then when these lanes do open up, there's people there. It's not like, Dolomite, where mm. fucking microphones hanging over the thing is, when when it's behind the scenes, it's there is, it's more poli <laughs> when it's behind the scenes, it's more political as well. Yeah, and you are gonna get like you are gonna see more racism as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. So it's like it's gonna be ten times harder for anyone mm -hmm. that's working behind the scenes to actually um, progress. Yeah. and and move up. Yeah, do you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I think like. Yeah, like, to anyone that's doing stuff like that, man, like, persevere and keep doing it, because that's what we need. We definitely need more of that shit, man. 
Yeah, I, I hear you, bub. I hear you 100%. Um, all right. I feel just quickly we should touch on this thing because obviously time's ticking on and uh, we do have to do our flashback as well. But just quickly, let's just touch on it. George Zimmerman. Yeah? Oh, fuck. George Zimmerman. Yeah? So if you know who George Zimmerman... If you don't know who George Zimmerman is, he was the person that fatally shot um, Trayvon Martin. Rest in peace. Um, he has set to file an $100 million... $100 million! $100 million lawsuit against Trayvon Martin's parents, their lawyer. Yeah? Their lawyer, Benjamin Crump and the state of Florida, yeah? The lawsuit was announced by Larry Clayman on Wednesday. Clayman is a former US Department of Justice prosecutor and the founder of Judicial, Judicial Watch and Freedom Watch, who represents Zimmerman. Yeah, so he's arguing that Crump and the prosecution conspired during the trial to produce a false witness and evidence against Zimmerman. So the false witness, it, it, it pertains to, it, they're talking about uh, Trayvon Martin's girlfriend. Yes, Trayvon Martin was supposed to be on the phone to his girlfriend at the time that he was killed, yeah? But she won't come forward. So apparently, this other girl stepped forward and came forward as that witness. And this is what he's basing his lawsuit on. Around he's, that. Yeah. So, 100 million dollars. Like, bruv, have you no shame, bruv? You're already a dickhead, yeah? But then you also now. Fuck it, mate. Yeah. That's my input. Yeah, yeah, done. Bro, this bro, argument done. Dead and done, bro. This is a done and bun out, bro. Dead burnt toes get dashed in the bin, fam. <laughs> you know the ones where no, no saving? Where you put a piece of bread in your toes, bro, it pops up, you put it back in again and the inside's dry? My money needs to dead out, bro. Yeah? <laughs> bro, 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 how bro. can you... Like, I, I just want to know, like, how, how, how can you feel... That's promoting him. That's like, why, because he knows the media promotes this mm, shit out of yeah. this story. And we're even promoting it right now. No, but, no, but we're talking about yeah. the reality of it. No, but we're promoting it, but we're promoting that discussion to say, you know, actually, the audacity. Yeah, 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 it's already yeah, gone yeah. that far now. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's gone that far that the people that was promoting it so mad that they've let a man... Tried to come back against the family that already hurt and broken. Could you kill yeah, their someone's youth? kid is you dead. Killed their you, and you killed, you killed million. them, and then you're suing them for oh, 100 mate. million. That bro, oh, you really have a hatred in your heart. You really have hatred in your and heart. That court for case will people. have to go again from the beginning, and you're gonna have to talk his talk and repeat the same things that he done. Bringing again, up these like digging up old so wounds. Family's gonna suffer again. Yeah, yeah. Someone needs to run out and do what my man yeah. done in that court case that time when my man's on the phone. If you see in the video, when my man's in the court case, seen that shit. Yeah, my think my man murdered his daughter or something. Yeah. My mum's in the court case on the phone, acting like he's on the phone. As my man's walking past in handcuffs, going to the team, I'm that team probably shot him in his head. Bang. Someone needs to just do that and take one for the team, bro. Obviously. Just do the ride, fam. Do the ride, fam. Obviously. Obviously. Just ride it, fam. Obviously. The other guy only got five years for that. Only got five years. Bro, do, wow. do your time, but you can release a couple albums in there, bro. bro. In all seriousness, <laughs> no, it's like you said, he's a, he's a piece of shit, bro. Definitely. Like, you shot stomp. an unarmed kid, uh, you got away with it. Not you became enough. a celebrity yeah, from it too. He done something else after though. I think he shot. So, I swear he. I swear he shot someone else. I know he's got other violence. I know he's got other violence. He did say that he was. He said like he said something else. I remember like him saying saying that he was gonna do something or he like I, I, I killed it. He was bragging about it. He's I remember him something. bragging about it. I can't remember. Yeah, that's disgusting behaviour, bro. He's a piece of shit. The courts would let that happen and put that in, knowing that he still agreed that he's done it and everything, bro. Yeah. Are you still now letting him try? I just want to know, like, what's your mind state? It's like you know you killed this person. Yeah, this person is not breathing because of you. This person's family will never see him because of you. He was 18 years old, right? Mm. Yeah, 18 years, 17 years old, 18 years. He was a teenager. You killed a teenager unarmed. Yeah, saying that you feared for your life, and now you're suing his family. Like, bruv, you men, are a men, certified yeah, piece him, of shit. Mm. Yeah, George Zimmer frame. Suck your mum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's it. Suck That's your mum.